Hey, how's it going? This is Anthony Todd of Engineering Futures, and today I'm going to tackle the question of what is the difference between angular and tangential velocity? So what is the difference? Okay. Now, so angular and tangential, um, they're both dealing, like, like we're talking about, with velocity. And they're kind of a fancy way to um, describe different types of motion, okay? So when we see angular, okay, this is where we're talking about objects going in a circle. And when you see tangential, this comes from the word tangent, which means linear. Now, while we were talking about tangent lines, when we have a curve of some sort of nature, tangent is a line that is adjacent to any curves. This is our tangent curve, or tangent line, I should say is a line that is adjacent to that curve. And this is gonna make sense in a second, okay? So now that we know the difference between angular and tangential by definition, so angular means circular, so or circle. Uh, tangential is kind of a fancy word for linear. Let's look at, like I said, angular velocity is rads per second, and linear, tangential velocity is just linear, it's just meters per second. Okay, let's do one calculated example to help you out. An example. Here we have a satellite. Okay, and this satellite is, oops, forgive me. This satellite is in motion around our planet. Okay. Now, as this satellite moves, it's actually moving in two different waves. As it moves around this circle, okay, and we have a radius r here, okay, from our satellite's orbit to the center of our planet. As this object moves about um, its orbit, it's moving with angular velocity, okay? So angular velocity is referring to how fast this object is changing its angular position. So we think about right here, there's an object here, and as it moves from point A to point B, we can measure how much radians it has deflected, okay? And remember, um, angular velocity is not, it's change in radians over a change in time. And that's why our units are radians or rads per second. So angular velocity is dealing with how fast the object is moving about um, a circle or a circular path. Now, at any given moment, I can draw a tangent line, okay? In an example, let's say I draw the satellite right here. I can draw a tangent line. And this tangent line is how fast this object is going at this instant. So this is velocity tangent, we'll call this VT. And this is actually what we call our tangential velocity. Okay, so this is our tangential velocity. So this is just how fast the object is going at this given moment in time. So example, if we were to find its linear velocity at any given moment in time, okay, in time, um, we could, at that, at that moment, we would be finding the object's tangential velocity, okay? And that's measured in meters per second. So that is a change in displacement over a change in time. So we get the units of meters per second. So the question comes up, and this is especially true in what we call uniform circular motion. Okay, so uniform circular motion is when you have an object that is in uniform circular motion. I know it's kind of weird, but what that means is the object is orbiting. Let's say we have an object orbiting planet Earth here. I'm doing my best to draw Earth real quick. Forgive me. I didn't have a model drawn up. Do -do -do -do. I feel like Bob Ross adding a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, that's pretty good Earth. It's a radius R, okay. And as this object is moving, okay, let's draw it different spots. Okay. As this object is moving about its orbit here, okay, um, uniform circular motion, so UCM, means the object is moving at a constant speed. Okay, so the object is moving at a constant speed, not just any speed, but a constant angular and it's also so angular speed. Now, it's tangential speed, so velocity tangent, OK? 
okay, is not constant. Okay, forgive me. It is not constant. And the reason being is the velocity tangential, if wherever I draw it on this object here, I want you to notice something here. As this object moves about a circle, okay, so again, I can find its velocity, its tangential velocity at any given moment in time, but this velocity tangent is always changing directions, okay? And the, this changing direction is how we get what we call a, a change in acceleration or a centripetal acceleration, which is just V squared over R, R, okay? So tangent velocity is just how fast an object is going at any given moment in time. And angular velocity is just how fast this object is moving about that circular path. Okay, so it's kind of how fast it's moving in a circle. So angular velocity is how fast it's moving in a circle per se. And velocity tangent is how fast is this object moving linear at any given moment or at any edge or any part of the this circle that I defined. Okay, so that's the difference between um, tangential velocity and angular velocity. So they're, 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 they're different. Okay. So let's say you have, I don't know, let's say you have um, a little boy riding a bicycle. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do my best draw, little boy. This might be horrible. No? Okay. And he's just riding around his backyard and he's playing. Okay. And let's say he's driving at a radius of, I don't know, let's say, Three meters. I'm gonna make some numbers up better as, as I go. So he's driving around this circle in three meters, and let's say he does it in a period of uh, let's say ten seconds uh, per uh, rotation or revolution. So it takes him ten seconds to go all the way around um, this circle, and he's moving at a constant speed. Okay. So the question the question is. What is this little boy's uh, linear or tangential velocity? So what is his tangential velocity? So if he's moving at a constant speed, okay, um, I know that he will move about this circle. And as he moves around the circle, the path he travels is the circumference, okay? Now I know the circumference of a circle is just 2 pi r. So velocity tangential can actually be written, example, if we know an object's moving at a constant speed, can be 2 pi r divided by our period. So that's just how long it takes to go around. And this is a perfect, this is just a reiteration of displacement over change in time. Okay, it's the same thing. Except now our object's moving in a circle and we now have a period, which is just how long it takes one oscillation to happen, or in this case, one full rotation to happen. And then we can now find what this is. So solving for our tangential velocity, we get two pi, times three divided by 10, and that gives me a velocity tangential of six pi over 10, which we can simplify down to three pi over five. And if you actually, and if you actually plug that into your calculator, um, you do three times pi, you actually get a velocity of around, was that one point, velocity tangential of approximately 1.9 meters per second. So that's how fast this little boy is moving tangentially, okay? Now, another question is, how fast is he moving angular? So what's his angular velocity? Well, angular velocity is change in radians over change in time, okay? Now, in this case, um, how, many, how many radians or how many complete rotations did the boy complete? Well, he completed one rotation. And we know in one rotation, that is two pi radians. So in one complete circle... So in 360 degrees, there are two pi rads, or 180 degrees, there are pi radians, so half of a, cir half a circle. So he went two pi, and so he went two pi radians, and he did it in 10 seconds. So again, this is still a time change, so this is going to be pi over 5. And so again, if you get your calculator out and you actually type in pi divided by 5, you will actually get 0 0.63, and that is rads per second. So that is how many radians this little boy is completing per
per second. So this is one second, this is two seconds. So this is how many radius he's completing. And we know in one complete circle, you, there's approximately like 6.3 radians, okay? So he's completing roughly one-tenth of that circle every single second, and that makes sense. So I hope this video helps, and if so, please give me a thumbs up and like, and subscribe for more physics content. Thank you, have a great day.